Well, now you've nearly finished setting up your restaurant website, people can choose their food items, they can choose a delivery slot, they can get shipping or collection in their local area if that's how you've chosen to set it up, and they can pay online for their order or just pay cash when they receive the food. But what happens when somebody places an order? Well, that's what this lesson is about. So first we'll talk about what WooCommerce itself will do to notify you of the order. And then I'll tell you briefly about some extra plugins that you can use to add extra features if you need them. So when you receive a new order, the website will send an email to the administrator or you can select a different address in the WooCommerce email settings. And this is what the order looks like. So you receive an order, which you can customize the email of, you can change the colors and things like that. And it's got the customer's details. It's got what they ordered. If it was a variable product or a product with add-ons, then it has that information after the product title so that you can see exactly what they ordered. You can see the quantity, the shipping method that they chose, the payment method that they chose, whether they've paid or not yet. And if you're using a delivery slots plugin, um, as in my case, I'm using Iconic's delivery slots plugin, then you will see the delivery details right there in the order email. And of course, the customer's address as well. And so that you can um, actually get the order to them if it's a delivery order. So that's what you receive by email. And if you go into the WordPress admin, you will also be able to see it under WooCommerce orders. And you see there's an orange blob indicating that I've got a new order that I haven't processed yet. It's a new order, so the status is processing and it specifically says payment to be made upon delivery. So there's no mistakes there. You won't accidentally give somebody their meal when they haven't paid for it yet. And if they'd already paid, then it would say completed because the order had been completed and payment received. So if I, I can see the delivery time information there, that comes from the iconic delivery slots plugin. And if I click on it, then I'll be able to see even more information about it. I can also change the status of the order so that when I have actually fulfilled it and the customer's collected it in this case, or if you've delivered it, then I would change the status and click update and that would mark it as complete. So that if I went to the orders page, you can see that it's now completed. And of course, the order screen in the admin has all the information about what product they've ordered. And so you could even have this open on the, um, the kitchen computer or something like that, so that you can see new orders coming in. You could do it using the email, however you want. Or if you want more features on top of that, then you might want to install a um, automatic order printing plugin, which would send the orders directly to the printer in the kitchen. And in the notes for this lesson, I'll recommend a plugin to do that. And alternatively, or as well, you might want to install um, an SMS plugin, which would send a text to somebody's mobile phone whenever an order is received with the order details. So there's a few different ways to manage orders in the kitchen. Have a play and set up whatever works for you in terms of your internal kitchen processes.